Headlines. Students protest demanding justice for Luangdi Hemanjit continues. Medical students of Jenims 2 stage demonstration. Team led by Chairperson of Manipur Human Rights Commission Justice Utpalendu Bikash Shaha meets families of Palil incident victims. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to ISTV English News. I'm Surbala Kangavam. Let's see the news in detail. Even though the government has announced the closure of schools and colleges in view of the prevailing situation, many students in their uniform were seen railing in streets demanding justice for Luangdi and Hemanjit. The students shouted slogans demanding fitting punishment for the culprits who killed the two students. Students were seen marching on Tidim Road, Kangchub Road, Singjame, Thangmaiban and Palace Compound attempting to storm the Chief Minister's Secretariat. Scuffle broke out between the police and the students when police tried to stop the students from marching further. Police resorted to fire tear gas shells to disperse the students and it has been reported that some students have been wounded. On the other hand, several students were seen launching agitation on National Highway in Thobal district, demanding justice for the two students who were mercilessly killed by cookie terrorists. A march was organized by six students bodies of Thobal district, and after reaching the DC complex, some students' leaders were selected from the crowd and allowed to meet with the DC of Thobal district and place their demands to the later. The students urged the government through the DC to trace the mortal remains of the two students, demanded immediate arrest and befitting punishment of the killers, and denounced the government's reckless order of closure for schools and colleges. The students' march commenced from Waikomani Girls College, Tobal Okram, and rallied to DC Tobal. Myra Paibi's group were also seen supporting the students' march. On the other hand, the district police also en enhanced security measures to prevent any unwanted incident. Speaking to media, the students' leaders decried the failure of the state government to trace the whereabouts of the two students. They also urged the government to search and hand over the mortal remains of the students within 48 hours. ผู้นี้ผู้นี้ไปมาตรงนั้นเจนนาวิชิงผู้ถูกตัวเสียดายพิบิวให้นะเขาไม่ให้ไม่รู้ชิงยังไงกันได้กี่ทำใจไล่ก
kuiraba irang kau pesida lihat pun kaya amat tinggal kalau le adu bu mahiroi bu yang minum sila itu nak adu pi bersihi mayu kita mahiroi kaya amaju bersihi mayu kita yang nak nuai taba aku itu mui lagi yang nuai taba adu posai marah adu na hujuk pali belengang asina yang na adu bu matam da mahiroi ini haki bagi langgan lagi pun tuh pi duna maya mamang da haki ba minum sing adu da sena bu minum sing adu bu Matik sahaja kau yang logik cara adu PPU hanya kau yang cari kerja hari adu ka yang na tuh bangsa sih nuni ni kita manusia dah mihap adu putuk tu na cara adu pi dapat tarik di mana putar lagi ba student organisation maya angka kau yang kucan na maya adu pelap tu jil laga aku yang akan dah ihong amasu cakin sebab kau kerja hari bersih peski matik nongsi raga ini sekarang pari bersekarang sih dah yang nampak kita fakta hari ini. Chairperson of Manipur Human Rights Commission, Justice Utpalendu Bikas Saha, met with the families of deceased and injured victims of Palil incident. The chairperson of MHRC spoke with the families of the victims belonging to both Kuki and Maitai communities at Palil police station. The families of the victims narrated their ordeals to the MHRC informed and informed that on the day of the incident, when the petrified people rushed to the gate of 26 AR camp pleading to save their lives, the AR personnel hit them and chased them away. The team also visited Molnoy at Palil and hurt the grievances of of Kuki villagers. They also visited Kakching Municipal Council Hall and met with injured victims who were assaulted during scuffle with AR. Member of MHRC K. Khagendra, Law Officer W. Basanta Kumar, IGP of Manipur Mamta Wahingbam, DIG Range 2 Jogesh Chandra Haubijam, DC of Technopal Krishna Kumar, SP of Technopal Lanmio Kwikam Tankul, SP of Kakching District TH Bikramjit, and SDO of Kakching O Sandhyarani accompanied the Manipur Human Rights Commission team on its visit. So, Intense form of agitation took place at Singjamai and Kagwa areas last night demanding punishment for the culprits who killed the two students. Police and A RAF fired several tear gas shells to disperse the agitators.
Kape, kape, kape. Nungay pala na ako, nungay pala! Nungay pala! Nungay pala! Nungay pala! Nungay pala! Nungay pala! Shraddha ceremony of an 85-year-old displaced person who died at the relief camp opened at Sajiwa was performed today. The displaced people staying at the relief camp organized a Shraddha ceremony for the deceased Mayengbam Birachon of Eco Bazar, and they also contributed and handed over monetary aid to the kin of the deceased. Speaking to media, one Ketrumayum Joy Meite of Eco Bazar informed that after violence broke out in the their village on May 3rd, the villagers fled their homes on May 5 and they were staying at the relief camp opened at Kundrakpam and later they were shifted to the government arranged relief center opened at Sajiwa. Over 400 persons are currently staying at the relief camp. He informed that even though the government have been sending doctors to the camp to attend to the medical needs of the displaced people, they are having a hard time bearing the scorching heat while staying at the relief center. He recalled that another displaced person, a young student named Atom Nganba, also passed away at the relief center. He also stated that the government provided 10,000 rupees and the local MLA gave another 10,000 rupees to the king of the deceased. However, he lamented that 20,000 rupees is not enough to arrange for a Shraddha ceremony and the government should be aware of the same. He also appealed to the government to arrange for their return and resettlement. <laughs> Maseda government al policing tala kapi bilai adigi MLA lokeswar akhoi orne ban sina leasing tala bilai kapi bilai leasing kunna sina akhoi maitei akhoi ki naat ki karuma pang thoku da kona bara kona da bara aje hauji ki lenga kiri ba sarkar sigi suwa kan kitang chingalani ni ma pum masira akhoi na lai ba maong mato wasi akhoi si khang ba da yamware masen shagi masha thamoi so over wa kan chowera ba akhoi ki sigi awa wasi can be the Ga Amutan di Mapam Eco Iramdam Ireka Eco Haribur Jarasi, the Amutan di Yohundiu. A person named Sandrambam Rakesh, another displaced person staying at the relief center, shared his ordeal that his auto rickshaw has got stolen while parking at Rims Complex. He said when he was transporting an ailing inmate at rims hospital on september 25 his vehicle which was parked at a rims complex went missing he appealed to all concerned to return his stolen auto rickshaw on humanitarian ground <laughs> May Taduna Tandide. Gari Gari do the Yungi Aigi Imaipa Angang Nupi Angang Tawai Kalaga Changer of Punigari to Matang in Javan. Minu Shitambido Mayamazu Aigi Gari do Pangnova Matin Pangview Leha Imaika do Kaino Matin Kara Pangview have eight times again. Under the chairmanship of Chief Minister N. Biren, Eastern Border Areas Development Authority, Manipur, conducted an awareness campaign on alternative farming system for Jumias or poppy planters at Kamjong subdivision. The program was held under the sponsorship of Northeastern Council and EC Shillong. Agriculture Officer, Horticulture and Soil Conservation, Paudumai Saiso Koji, and Director of Ibada, Nongthongwam Loya Lakpa II, graced the opening of the awareness campaign. Around 100 farmers took part at the campaign. And before we wind our top stories once again. Students protest demanding justice for Luangbi Hemanjit continues. Medical students of Jenims 2 stage demonstration. Team led by Chairperson of Manipur Human Rights Commission Justice Upalendu Bikashaha meets families of Palil incident victims. Mm -hmm. 
Well, thank you so much for joining with us.